everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about where I leave Fenway whenever I have to leave the house. So I'm down in my training room right now and I'm going to show you guys here in a minute my X-Pen setup and my little playpen setup that he stays in whenever I leave the house. I'm going to show you all the components that I have involved in it, why I set it up the way that I do, how I started to get him comfortable in there, and all of the details surrounding that. Before we jump into the details of the X-Pen setup, I wanted to send a quick shout out to Furbo for sponsoring today's video. Fenway stays here in my training room whenever I leave the house. Wrigley gets the rest of the house to roam around free to herself, but my two dogs stay completely separate whenever I'm home, or I'm sorry, whenever I leave. When I'm home, they're allowed to be with one another. Um, this is just a me personal preference. I would hate for anything to happen with them while I was away. So for my peace of mind, they stay completely separated, and this allows them to better be able to relax while I'm away too. And and just kind of have some nice away time from one another. They don't constantly have to be around one another to be able to calm down and settle. So I also like it for that reason. So I'll show you guys here in a second how I actually keep them separated. I've got a baby gate that goes across my training room door that I can lock and I have the door completely closed as well. So this room is totally shut off. Wrigley cannot get in. Fenway, while he is in here, is also contained in an X-Pen. So I've got a lot of safety features going on, but it makes sure that my puppy stays safe. I've got a lot of stuff, as, as you guys can clearly see in this room, that he could potentially get into. So he stays contained in my X-Pen, and Wrigley, again, cannot access this room at all. This is Fenway's X-Pen setup. Um, I've got it within my training room, and as you can tell, there are lots of things that he could potentially get into if he was not contained in this little space right here. So this is where he hangs out whenever I am away. He, at the moment, is right over here. Um, but just so I can show you, I've got this other baby gate that goes across. I've got him locked in here with me right now. Um, it goes across this door, and then I also shut this door completely whenever we are um, away from the house. So that keeps Wrigley on the other side of that gate. She cannot come in and access, and also he cannot get out either. This room I really like because it is the coolest room in our house, and he is a little space heater, so he runs really hot, which is why he's laying right here. There's a little vent just on the other side of the door that he likes to lay right here and get the cool air. So this is a perfect room for him to be able to stay nice and cool whenever we're gone. Um, a little tip whenever you leave your dog, I turn this box fan, sorry it's kind of gross, I turn this box fan on, it's definitely helpful for um, blocking out some of the noise that might be coming from Wrigley or other areas of my house, so it kind of just adds some white noise as well to help calm him. So as we kind of go over to the gate here, this is obviously pretty self-explanatory. It's just a baby gate and I can fully enclose that. has a latch on it. He cannot undo this. Um, note for the larger puppies. Fenway, if he really wanted to, could jump this gate. However, that light bulb has not gone off in his head yet. So just keep in mind, it's not super tall. It's about three feet tall. Um, so if you have a puppy that looks, likes to jump, what you could do is you could put a top on this. You could lay a, like a graded top so they physically cannot jump out of it. That is an easy fix for a playpen. I would also recommend getting a taller one um, and putting a top on it as well. So that's, a, that's an easy solution that you can do for that. Um, inside here, I've just got a blanket, some of his... Uh, favorite toys, a little water bowl, and the crate. So this is actually an idea that I picked up from channel Kiko Pup um, when she shared her puppy X-Pen setup, actually putting the end bar of this through the interior of the crate. You actually can unscrew the top of this and this comes completely off and you can slide the pole down into the crate itself. So this 
cannot move. <laughs> if it moves, it moves the entire thing with it. So I really like this option rather than having to put the entire crate inside the X pen itself. It gives it a lot more room that way rather than if this were to scooch in, if that makes sense. And I'm enclosing the baby gate surrounding that. But I do not want Fenway accidentally getting locked in here. So I latched this to the side of the, the X pen with the carabiner um, just to make sure that this stays open and he has free access of going in and out of the crate. Um, I have a little towel on top of it. Um, it was, I kind of folded it over, but it was covering the crate just like that um, just to provide a little bit more of a den type of setting. That's kind of the basics of how my X pen is laid out, how my training room is safety locked in, and all the details surrounding it. So how I started to get Fenway comfortable with actually being in this pen, it started from a very early age. I started feeding him his meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner inside of the X pen. We would play with his toys in there, he would do little training games and get treats in there. And we would spend time, me included, I would go into the X pen actually physically with him and literally hang out. I'd read a book, I'd scroll through my phone, answer emails, whatever it might have been, just to kind of establish it as this is an exciting, fun place to be. And eventually he started to wander in there on his own to hang out in. So it's something that from the very, very start was established as this is just another place in the house that we hang out. That can be really important when you're trying to build positive associations with the place that your puppy is actually going to be left. They have to hang out there and you have to hang out there initially with them. So over a period of time, we started to add little bit of durations of me actually being just outside of the X pen, closing the door on him and letting him take a nap in there while I sat right outside of his X pen, door closed, again, reading a book, scrolling through my phone or answering emails, something like that. I would strongly recommend that you leave something for your puppy to actually work on while they are in their X pen. Something like a stuffed Kong um, or a licking mat can be a really good option. I wouldn't leave something like a bully stick or um, a bone or anything that potentially while you're away your dog could inhale or splinter off and cause some issues. So something like a stuffed Kong or a licking mat is a great option to leave in your dog's kennel with them. Um, Fen would also get left with whatever portion of meal that he needs to eat. I would usually save that for whenever he was going to be spending time in his X pen and he would eat his meal and then go to sleep immediately. So giving your dog something to work on. This goes too for dogs that are just being left in their crate as well. Give them something to work on for a little while and then after they work on that thing, chewing and licking are natural stress relievers in dogs and they actually can help with a lot of boredom behaviors. So once they work on those things that you left, they'll be more apt to to just want to go to sleep. So every time before we would leave, I'd make sure that all of his needs were met. He's had some exercise. For Fen, that always involved playtime. A little walk for him is not super stimulating. That checks the box for Wrigley, but not really for him. It provides some good exercise, but he's not really mentally enriched from that activity as much as Wrigley is. So playtime for him is of the utmost importance. So we'd get plenty of playtime in, make sure that he uses the bathroom. I'm leaving him with water. I'm leaving him with stuff to work on while he's in there. He's kind of just primed and ready to be able to settle and take a nap anyways. That's the best time to practice leaving your puppy in this X pen is when they're already kind of down to take a nap. And then over time it's really just working up the duration that you're actually leaving your puppy for. I've got a separation training video with some tips in there of how you can actually work that up to a small degree. Um, but make sure that your puppy's comfortable the entire time. When you're working your way up to actually physically leaving the room and leaving the house, how are you going to know that your puppy is okay? That's where I like to implement cameras. So cameras are a really big part of how I feel safe and secure leaving my dogs home alone because I can check in on them at any given time and see what they're up to. Previously, we've been using some Wi-Fi connected cameras throughout the house to monitor the dogs, but recently Furbo reached out to me and sent me this bad boy that's sitting up right here. Um, it's actually kind of scanning the room right now. It's a feature, big feature that I'm gonna talk about. So I'm trying it out and seeing kind of how it works for me and my personal dogs here. I'm going to take you guys through some of the big features that I want to mention about it and my thoughts on them as well.
Okay, so here is the new Furbo 360 dog camera. What's really great about this camera is this is shot in 1080p, which is really great quality in my opinion for a security camera basically. And I really love that it rotates 360 degrees so you can see your entire room and what is going on in it, which is just fantastic for having dogs. Here's just another good example of how good this picture is on this camera. For a security camera, this is a fantastic picture in my opinion. And the element that I think makes Furbo unique is its treat tossing capability on the camera itself. This is definitely tailored just to your dog. I would recommend using small, round, more hard type of treats in loading this device. It's going to be able to launch the treat a, bit, a little bit easier. And think about where you're actually setting it up. If you need it to land in a specific location, like inside the X Pen right here, you're going to want to think a little bit more about where you set the camera up so it can, it can actually launch the treat into there. The other cool new feature about this is this color night vision. So you can actually see I've got a light on the in the background, but it was actually mostly dark in this room. And the camera is still able to show the picture in color, which is really cool. And I've never seen that feature in another camera that I have personally used before. This next set of clips is showing the Furbo's auto dog tracking feature. This is one I find myself using very frequently with my own personal dogs. I'm not moving the camera at all. The device is actually moving itself to follow the dogs around the room. And wherever your dogs go, if you have this feature turned on, it will adjust itself to get them within frame. So it's definitely ideal if your dogs have a wider range of space when you're gone. Next feature that I think is my favorite one are the alerts that it sends you. It sends you really specific alerts. If my dog is barking, if he's continuously barking, if I've got a dog crying, if I have something else going on that my dog is moving around, it's going to be very specific in telling you what kind of alert it actually is, which is really cool when it comes to a dog specific thing. I actually know what's going on. The other thing that it does allow me to do is zoom in on the video and still give me a pretty good picture. So this is definitely compressed video. I downloaded this video, it's been compressed, and still I am able to see that that is a dog in the picture, which is pretty cool. So that four times zoom is kind of what you're seeing there. And what I like about the alerts is it tells me if I've got a distressed puppy or not. And in this picture right here, he 100% was distressed. And that's something that I got an alert for, which was great. So the next thing that we have here is our two-way audio. I'm going to stop talking so you guys can hear it. Hi, Meeks. Wrigley. Hey, Wrigley. Meeks. Hi, Miss Lady. This feature is one that I wouldn't personally use for my own dogs. Wrigley just learned to tune out the sound of the voice coming out of the camera because it, res it was resulting in nothing for her. Fenway, on the other hand, got more anxious and tried to look for me whenever he heard that coming out of there. So not for me, but it's a cool feature. Nonetheless, the audio is really good on it. Here, I'm showing you guys just how to enter the Furbo app, everything that you have involved in it. You can see in the cloud recordings, it'll actually record all of the alerts and you can go back and watch what your dog was doing throughout the day, which I think is cool. So you can kind of track behavior as you're going along, see what your dog is up to during the day. And you can also check in live with them if you press that play button right in the middle. Okay, I have tried to record this seven times now. I forgot to record an ending to my video, but it's 8.30 p.m. at night and that's my dog's crazy, crazy time. So it's impossible to film anything. So I locked them outside momentarily while I filmed this. I wanted to include a a little recap and a story about what happened earlier today um, with my X Pen setup. So, Fenway is almost seven months old, and this X Pen setup has lasted us really, really well. It's lasted through puppyhood, and like I said earlier in the beginning of this video, the fence and the gate is really, really short. Um, if he wanted to, he could just clear it, and that is exactly what he did today while I was at work. Um, side story to that, the reason I think that he, well, not I think, I know he jumped it, is he had to go to the bathroom really, really badly. Um, we went to the lake, I think he might have Giardia, we're getting that tested out, but it's a whole thing, he had to go immediately. So he jumped over the gate and promptly went on the rug. So that was unfortunate, um, however, 
I have to say the Furbo camera versus the other security camera that I had in that room previously actually allowed me to see the entire room. So he was free in that room. He was still contained to that room, but he was free inside the room. But with another camera, I would have been, only been able to see a sliver of that room. But with the Furbo camera, I could spin it so I could see the entire room. So I can't make this up. He pooped all over my rug and it was horrible. And I had to come home and clean that up. But I could actually just monitor him and keep an eye on him rather than not being able to see him if I wasn't able to see all of the room and where he was in the room and what he was doing, I would have had to just leave work and come home. But because of the camera, I just kept the camera up on my phone the entire rest of the time that I was at work and made sure that he was okay and he wasn't getting into anything. And he wasn't, he just slept the rest of the time like a good little boy after he was naughty. So um, I just wanted to let you guys know that because I think it's an, a perfect ending for this video is my ex pen failed me today. And um, that is purely because he, that light bulb went off, as I mentioned earlier in the video, um, that he is tall enough that he can jump over it. And he found a need and a want to do that today. So um, just a note, you can use a cover if you have a puppy that's just gonna clear that gate. Um, but I think also just taking into consideration, you know, what your needs are and, um, just thinking about that, I guess is kind of my point here. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you found some of these tips a little bit helpful um, with setting up some X-Pen or um, crate or some sort of safety setup for leaving your puppy at home alone. Fenway is quickly and rapidly becoming an adult dog and that's crazy. So we're gonna up his level of um, comfort and security as well in um, the training room there. So we're gonna adjust as he gets older, but this is a great setup for, and it has been a great setup for his entire puppyhood up until six and a half months old. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. If you guys are interested in picking up one of um, the Furbos, I've got a little discount for you. You can click on the link down in the description save you a little bit of money. It's definitely a device that I'm going to continue to use for my own personal dogs. Just on what happened today, that's 100% worth it for me. So um, yeah, you guys can uh, check out the link down below and see if that might work out for you as well. I'm going to go because I'm being yelled at and um, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye.